I'm Adrienne Garialdi and I am the District Administrator for the Shasta Valley Resource Conservation District here in Siskiyou County. I have lived in Siskiyou County about 15 years, have worked 12 plus years for the Resource Conservation District. The Resource Conservation District has been involved in doing restoration projects on the Shasta River for about 20 years. Uh, the first projects were providing fish screens so that fish were not um, trapped in, within the diversions and also to start doing riparian protection projects and riparian planting projects. Once the coho salmon was listed as threatened, then there was an increased awareness of other issues on the river such as the flashboard dams. And these dams basically had a structure in stream and beginning uh, April 1, irrigation started on the main stem Shasta. Boards were put into the structure which then stopped water and backed it up so that the water could be diverted for irrigation. Part of the issue was is that we had out-migrating salmon that were still heading to the ocean, to the Klamath and the ocean in April. And then in the fall, irrigation shut off in October, October 1st, but at many times we had Chinook salmon that were already coming into spawn. The benefits of doing these two projects for this valley, number one, um, remove the barriers to fish passage. And as part of the project, we also improved water delivery through piping a number of the open ditches that reduced the leakage. And in many cases, the, the district had the opportunity to divert actually less river water, but still deliver water in a better fashion to their fields. The first dam that we removed on the Shasta River was the Arusha Dam. It served five water users and had three points of diversion consolidated into one point. Uh, the total pumping was 11 CFS. The users of that diversion had to struggle with changing their diversion from a gravity-fed diversion, which had no electrical costs, to having pumps which they would then have to pay electrical costs. The landowners now uh, have said that because they're delivering the actual water that they pump and they're not pumping extra water and having it leak out along the way, that they are really saving energy costs. Even with the pumping, they don't have ditch maintenance. Um, they are able to deliver water to the very end user on the ditch who many times couldn't get their water right and are really happy with what has been done with this project. The second flashboard dam that we removed on the Shasta River was the Shasta River Water Users Association Dam. It serves 130 water users and they pump approximately 40 CFS of water. This was quite a large diversion. They were already pumping water. They had an old pumping station with two large pumps. The issue was they could only turn the pumps on or off. They now have variable drive speed pumps and so they're able to turn one or both pumps on. They can also gear them down and divert less water with each pump. This has been very helpful in the fall when we've had dry fall um, or for some reason river flow drops. They are able to turn back the pumps a little bit and allow more water to go downstream. We've also undertaken a lot of riparian fencing to protect the river from uh, cattle and as part of that also riparian planting. So we've got improved shade and protections in place on probably over 80 percent of the main stem Shasta River at this time. The benefits of completing projects such as these is that it helps our landowners meet the requirements of the Shasta River Total Maximum Daily Load, or TMDL. And as part of that, it's improving the beneficial uses in the river, especially for water quality and fisheries. Having our fisheries producing fish, again, is a benefit not only to sport fishermen and the tribes and commercial fishermen. Uh, the 20 years of work that has gone on has uh, incrementally improved the river. Last fall, 2012, we saw 29,000 plus Chinook salmon return to the Shasta River to spawn. 
That was the largest fish run in 40 years. This spring in 2013, we counted over 5 million juvenile Chinook that were heading to the Klamath and then out to the ocean. And this is a huge improvement and a benefit to the tribes and the fishermen, as well as the ranchers. Mm -hmm.